Hello everyone, I'm Ludwig Murray and welcome to the Crooked Man. I've seen a lot of videos of this game and it's um, an old RPG style game but it's horrific. It's got a lot of scary stuff in this one. I've been wanting to play this one for a very 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 long time and uh, I seen another gamer do it and I found a link on it. I guess I could have just googled it but I didn't think of it and uh, so I finally got it and I'm finally going to start playing it. Hey, Paul's in this game. Is there anything else we can help with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. Thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometimes. Oh, nice. The three of us should go out drinking. That sounds good. I look forward to it already. We better get going. Got it. Carefully, you two. I really love these styles of horror games. I'm just gonna crank this right up. Okay. Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. So I got Paul's license. Ooh, big crack. Large crack in the wall. Phone, box of tissues, trash can. Okay, let's go explore. Old computer. I can't check in the drawers, no, okay. The washroom where all horrors begin. But not this time. You hear someone? What's with that place, seriously? It's filthy, it's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for that the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get back, get to bed. Oh. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Whoops. Whoops. Holy 
Hitachi. Okay. No response. No response. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room. Even it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Trying to start something? You're the guy who moved in 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I'd better go back to sleep. Wait a minute, I hear water, it's not from there. Sink? A toilet monster? Thanks, the water is the faucet busted. Hmm. Under the bed. Oh. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. <laughs> What's under the bed? Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm, found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Oh, more reading. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. <laughs> that sound still? Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean just I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay? Bye. Man, I slept into noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. An old TV. Hey, mister. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry. I was going to bring it to you, but... Ooh, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. <clears throat> no need to go in there. No need to go in there. <laughs> Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy. Timmy? You've certainly grown. I'm not Timmy. 
Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. <clears throat> but I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me. Maybe I can come visit you sometimes. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom? I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Okay, she's got problems. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? M meh Get out. I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody, there's a strange band in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy. Please. Mom, it's me, remember? Davy, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Ah, oh, so she does the voice in Slendy Tubbies. <laughs> Bring the sedatives. Oh, David, did you see your mother? Yeah, I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better so you can live with her again. This is actually kind of hard for me to read because the screen's like this big on my computer. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Alright, well, can I go downstairs? Ah. Uh. Let's go sneak into someone's room, steal their sedatives. Wait a minute. I'm not in the hospital anymore. I'm in my house. Okay, I hear something move. Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for sh for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be from the foreigner tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey David, how are you doing? 
Uh, you saw me just the other day. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? Ooh. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. Uh, she should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. <laughs> All right, see you. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. You and me both, buddy. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Wow. This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. What the. Okay, it's the. The rhyme. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Okay, well this is getting pretty long. But so far it's a good start. So uh, I'll, I'll leave it here. Um, but uh, this, this is probably going to be a very long game. So I'm just going to keep making parts of it. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.